kind-hearted Ilona is a waitress in the city of Budapest. She is very beautiful. Every man who met Ilona could not resist her tenderness. So did the owner of Savo's restaurant. He is a shrewd and capable Jew. The restaurant does not make a lot of money, but it has always had a good reputation. For four years they have been in a relationship like lovers. They ran the restaurant well, but then one day, a piano player appeared and broke the harmony between them. He was old and talented. He played very beautiful music. The pianist's melancholic appearance attracted Ilona's attention. He had a natural artist touch. Time flies. It was Ilona's birthday. A German officer's name Hans came to the restaurant. The day of the meal was also his birthday. He fell in love with Ilona at first sight. As a birthday present, he took a picture of Ilona with his camera. The owner also gave Ilona a blue hairpan, but Ilona was most pleased with the pianist's gift. It was the pianist's own composition, Melancholy Sunday. It was a piano piece he had written especially for Ilona. That beautiful piece echoed in Sabo's restaurant. The audience was deeply in the mood of the music. Ilona looked at the pianist with affection. It was a gaze that the owner of the restaurant had never received before. Because of the appearance of the pianist, the owner's heart had a little loss. After all, they were not lovers, but he hoped Ilona would follow her heart. That night, three men took Ilona home together. Hans took the initiative to confess his love. He promised the future of an empire. He wants Ilona to marry him, but he was rejected. Ilona does not need these external material pleasures. She was more interested in soul matching. Sadly, Hans chose to leave. At the crossroads of parting, Ilona chose to follow the pianist back home. Alone, the boss goes to the Danube to relax. He accidentally saved Hans from jumping into the river. This night, the two lovelorn men find comfort in each other. Hans promises to remember his boss's kindness. The next day he set off on a train back to Berlin. He wants to make a big career out of it. Ilona is torn between her boss and the pianist. On one side was the lover who had been with her for four years. On the other side was the partner of her soul. It was a difficult choice. The boss is a wise man. He sensed Ilona's preference. A split Ilona was better for him than no half at all. The two men chose to have Ilona at the same time. They started to live together. The three of them lived in perfect harmony. Their love life and business were all three. The business of Sabo's restaurant was getting better and better. One day some music publishers came to the restaurant. Ilona and the owner arranged an opportunity for the pianist. And so the pianist's melancholy Sunday, which he had written for her, finally became famous. The piano piece became a big sensation in Budapest and the world at that time. Many customers came to Sabs every day. The restaurant's fame was accompanied by a conflict between the three of them. But after the quarrel, the relationship between the three of them became stronger. In the last week, five people died in a row with a melancholy Sunday. This song was criticized by the media as an ominous song. As the music spread, the number of suicides increased. The pianist was in a state of self-blame and guilt. With the help of the Lona and the owner, the pianist regained his strength. He also became more and more eager to find the true meaning behind the melody of the piece. Three years later, Hans came back. Now he is in officers. Hans' eyes are not as sincere and pure as they used to be. He ignores the rules of the restaurant and barges into the back of the restaurant. He also deliberately plays the piano that belongs only to the pianist. Hans' fellow officers even fight because the owner is Jewish. He has a superior and confident demeanor. Even though Hans has a beautiful family, but he still won't give up on Ilona. Ilona rejects him again, but just as Hans leaves Ilona's house, the pianist happens to see the scene. Suspicion and anger washed over him. With the German invasion of Hungary, the Budapest people were very nervous. At the moment, the owner offered to transfer the restaurant to Ilona's name. She went to ask Hans to open a draft certificate for the boss. When the current dangerous situation is over, the boss will ask for the ownership of the restaurant back. So Ilona went to Hans to help take care of all this. The pianist is outside Hans' villa. When he saw Ilona leaving from here, the misunderstanding in his heart increased. A man's pride and possessiveness made him unable to tolerate it any longer. That night, Hans and another officers came to dinner at Sobs. Their arrogance challenged the restaurant's boundaries again and again. The owner did not want to cause a conflict. He repeatedly relented. When Hans asked the pianist to play the classic melancholy Sunday, the pianist stopped moving his hands. He didn't want to be that obedient and vulgar. Ilona rushed to deal with the matter. She, who had never sung in public before, took it upon herself to hum the words of the piece. Ilona asked the pianist to give in to this unreasonable request. The consequences of upsetting these people would be many times worse. The pianist finally gave in. 
he could not play with other people's lives with the sound of the piano in the range. When the last note fell, the pianist took away Hunt's gun and killed himself, not only because of his lover's betrayal and misunderstanding, his artistic soul would not allow such a trampling and insult. His death in his own work was perhaps the most dignified way to leave. Hans cheated Ilona, he did not help his boss to solve the problem, instead, he used his boss to pull the strings and started to squeeze the juice even more. He was not a kind man. Any Jew who paid one dollar, zero 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 was exempt from being sent to a concentration camp, but he only gave special treatment to those who were in a position of power. In Hans eyes, Jewish life was like an ant. The boss understood the pianist's anger and helplessness, but he was not an artist. He was just an ordinary businessman. Dignity may not be so important to him. After all, in a situation like that, what would be more important than living? When the boss's value was used up, Hans turned his head and sent him to the execution chamber. She accepted Hans' physical demands to save her boss. After one night, Hans left satisfied, but he still did not keep his promise. The boss boarded the train to the concentration camp. Three years ago, he saved Hans' life. Now, three years later, Hans himself is pushing him to his death. Ilona is now pregnant. She is determined to live. In the future, it must not be too late to take revenge for her loved ones. A few decades later, Hans became a famous and wealthy businessman. With all the money he had scavenged at the time, he had a good life all these years. On the day of Hans' Sayeth birthday, he returned to the restaurant with his family. Today, Hans ordered his favorite meatloaf from the past. As the dinner begins, the musicians behind him played the heartbreaking play again. On the piano stand stood the picture he had taken of Ilona. He stared at the woman in the photo. Before the song was over, Hans tried to get up to gesture, but he had a heart attack and fell to the floor. He never woke up again. The people at the party talked about the song's unsettling curse. Hans' wife was busy picking up the pearls that were scattered around him. And in the back kitchen of the restaurant, an old woman with a blue hairpan was cleaning a medicine bottle. She hummed the familiar tone. Today is also her birthday. Half a century of revenge finally ends today. And she has received the best gift of all.